Welcome guys. So starting with this Easy ADA Circuit PCB Designing plus Circuit Simulation software. You can do it in any web browser. I'm using your Firefox. This is the GUI of it. It looks great. It's an open source. It's totally free. I just logged in into it. Before going into the depth of it, I'll just show you some of the importance of it. The one of the best thing it's like it requires no software to be downloaded. It can run on Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, Linux, anything. One of the best part is like it's way too simple. Anyone can use it and it's like working from anywhere. You just require internet and you start working. And there are more than seven lakh libraries that are inside this, which makes your work very simple you can find your microprocessor microcontroller and anything you just name it you will find it inside yeah so i'll just go to the editor of it now i just make a small circuit for demonstration purpose yeah you can see the new schematic section on the center before that i'll show you the eagle software you can see it's like hundred dollars per year it's way too expensive on the other hand, I have this easy EDA which is absolutely free. Before starting, I'll just save it. As for now, I'm making a normal sample program as 7805 voltage regulator. So I'll give that name. You can give any name as per your wish. Now before starting with this project, I'll just show you that there's something called as libraries. This is one of the most interesting thing about this. If I want to search for any project like clock using Arduino Uno or Nano or any other project, first I'll search it over here and I can see like has someone already made it and uploaded the PCB for it. Now here I can see that there's already a ready-made PCB. So I don't have to make a new one or design a new one. Okay, so this is going out of the topic. I'll come back to the 7805 voltage regulator. You can see on the left hand side, I just typed 7805 and I got my 7805 IC. Uh, there are a lot of things that the ground, VCC, resistor, capacitor, inductor that's available on my left hand side. I just take the required one and place it on my screen. I have kept two capacitors for reducing the AC level if there's anything in this. I have used Two pins for input and output. For the input, I have used header pins, and for output, I have used screw jack terminal. And after that, I started doing the wiring. For wiring, I took the tool from right hand side bottom. There's a wiring tool. I'll be just going a bit fast here as just basic wiring as re as my requirement. I'm just doing it. As compared to Eagle, this is very easy. I'll just show an example later. Okay, now going and converting it to PCB, you can see top. Now my PCB is converted into PCB. Now here I can show you one thing that I can drag the entire thing and move the entire thing as you, you can see now. But in Eagle, see this is Eagle, the GUI also doesn't look good. In Eagle, I have to drag the whole thing, then on my left there is a group tool. I have to first click that and make a group, then use the move tool on my left and then move it. So it's way too complicated in Eagle. But it's damn easy in this easy EDA. Okay, I'll just zoom it now. Now what I'll do, I'll just arrange the components in this PCB board as per my requirement. I'm just dragging it and rearranging it as per my requirements. The top one, these three holes is the voltage regulator and the C1, C2 is the capacitors. And on my extreme right, the two small boxes are for the input ones. And two holes on my right side are for the output, the screw jack terminal holes. Now after placing them, there are two options. One is auto route as seen above. Other thing is that those down you can see there's a small box. There's a track track option i'm using the track option and creating wires that's i'm creating tracks 
now if i want to rotate any components in the schematic or pcb i just have to click on the component and i can rotate it using the spacebar key once i finish doing the track of the pcb then next thing that i have to do is like i have to just fill it with copper the copper tool also can be found in this pcb tools that's the on my right hand side before that i'll do the text one i just selected text from pcb tool for my circuit i'll use a 5 volt voltage regulator in my text i'll just do it i'll just an editor on my top right hand side okay now i started doing the copper filling i just created a rectangle and then i'll just double click on my border of the copper and then i can edit it and press okay or apply and yeah my pcb is ready now on my right hand side you can see there are different layers the top layer the bottom layer you can select whichever and see how it looks from different layer one of the important other thing that's there inside this is before that i'll just save it yeah one more thing that's uh, about this software is that i can ask the company to make it and deliver it in my house it's like it's not that expensive also see now if i order this product so it uh, it tells me to pay 2 dollar it's not that expensive well but i don't deliver it in my house I'm, i make it in my college lab so you can export it you can export it as a pdf or any other file you can take it a color or a black and white i'm using a black and white option here and here my pdf files also ready i have to just print it out and do the process and get the pcb done that's it one more main important feature of this software is that i can like create a shared link for this you can see the share link that i have generated for this one i can share it with my group group members so that if any changes has to be done so like even they can edit it and change it as per the requirements that's great isn't it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and do like and subscribe and share it with your friends and students so that they can understand about the software and it can help them in making their mini projects and main projects and so on thank you once again